do we really need to purchase such expensive devices for practicing our CCNA, CCNP, or network pass labs for extending our knowledge on new technology? The answer is big no, because nowadays we have advanced network simulator and that can help us to practice our lab like a real and we don't need to invest on such expensive devices. All you need to do is stay with me till the end of this video to prepare your lab to do not only practice your CCNA, CCNP or Network Plus exam, but you will be able to practice on more trending devices such as Fortigate Firewall, Sophos Firewall, Palo Alto Firewall and many more devices. So let's get started. In this video, we will cover the AVNG introduction, downloading the required softwares and tool, as well as the VMware network configuration for AVNG, and accessing the AVNG in web browser. And finally, we will overview the AVNG in creating our first lab. AVNG stands for Emulated Virtual Environment next generation it's a favorite among network engineers and it professionals for its flexibility and scalability and it comes into two main versions: the community edition and professional edition the community edition is free and great for personal use while the professional edition offers advanced features like multi-user support dynamic console porting, and many more. And if you are working in an enterprise or training environment, the Pro version is definitely worth considering. Now let's check what system requirement do we need to run the AVNG. First, we require the quad-core processor Core i5 or Core i7. Second, at least 8 GB of RAM while 16 GB or more is idle for handling multiple labs. And third, an SSD with at least 50 GB of free space, but 100 GB is better for large setup. So let's go to download the EVNG Community Edition and start the installation process. But before that, let's check what other tools are required. For running the EVNG, we need a hypervisor either as a VMware workstation or virtual box and we need EVNG client accessing tool and itself EVNG community edition. So I have already installed the VMware workstation in my computer and will show you how to download the EVNG client accessing tool and itself EVNG community edition. If you found this video helpful, don't like the channel and don't subscribe the video because you should like the video and subscribe the channel. Open the browser. In the search bar, type download EVNG client pack and right here, click in third link, source fork EVNG download and right here, click on download and the download will start in five seconds. Here you can see our download is started. Now let's download the EVNG Community Edition. In the search bar type download EVNG. Click on the first link right here for downloading the EVNG Pro Edition. And it's about 8 GB in size and you can download it right here. For downloading the Community Edition, scroll down the page. Here is the community edition and it's about 3.2 gigabyte. Now for downloading the EVNG community edition, click on direct link. Right here you can see that EVNG community edition download has been started. Here you can see if you don't have a VMware Workstation Pro, you can download the VMware Workstation Player and that is free and you can run the EVNG Community Edition in this player as well. Open the VMware Workstation and right here create a new virtual machine. 
right here browse your community edition iso file and select the iso file and click on open and click on next right here we have to specify the installation folder it's good to specify a specific folder for a specific lab because if we would like to take the backup and run on another computer so that can help us let's open my computer and i have a d drive specifically for all the virtual labs in here are all my created virtualization folder now let's create a specific folder for running the evng and my folder has been created let's browse it from the vmware installation process right here select this folder and click on ok now let's add a specific name for this avng lab as this is my full lab configuration so you can enter any name and click on next in this section i'm specifying 200 gigabyte space for this lab and we'll select to store the installation file in a single file and then click on next before click on finish let's customize the hardware specification and right here i have to identify the amount of ram processor and network settings for the time being i'm customizing and editing the network configuration for this lab and we have three types of network configuration in the vmware the first one is in the bridge mode second one is NAT and the third one is host only adapter so let's see the diagram what exactly each option can service as so this is my local network infrastructure that my laptop is connected with my wireless access point and my wireless access point is connected with the internet and my laptop is receiving ip address and internet from my wireless router now the point is when i'm installing the virtual machine in my laptop and selecting the bridge option so this virtual machine is directly receiving the ip address from my wireless router and if i select the nat option so my laptop is acting as a nat in assigning ip address to the virtual machine from my laptop not from wireless router and if i selected the host only the virtual machine is connected with unmanageable switch and not receiving any ip address so select the bridge option click on close and click on finish the installation process has been started and right here press the enter to start the evng installation do the installation will take time so i will keep them in first forwarding mode right here select your installation language i'm selecting english and press the enter right here select done and press the enter and as well as select continue and press the enter to start the installation process now right here we have one warning it says that neither intel vtx or amd has been found so let's go to the setting and check this option in the vmware setting option and for that we need to first turn off this and click on edit virtual machine settings select the processor 
and right here select the first option and click on OK. Now let's turn on the EVNG. The EVNG first installation process has been completed. Now we are in the second step of EVNG installation. Right here enter the default username root and default password EVE. Right here if you would like to change the password so type the password and press OK and repeat the same password. If you would like to change the machine name you can enter. I am selecting the default EVNG name. Also selecting the default domain name. Right here you can specify either you would like to assign a static IP address or DCP. So my wireless router is assigning automatic IP address. I am selecting the DCP option. Right here if you have the NTP server or if you don't have just keep it as empty and enter on OK. Right here is ask the WIM connection to the internet I am selecting the first one direct connection so it's the final stage and the EVNG will start rebooting voila you can see that my EVNG is receiving IP address from my wireless router now this address can help me to access the EVNG in my web browser from any computer that is connected in the same wireless router and let's check that my computer is receiving the same ip address from my wireless router open the command prompt and type ip config scroll down the list here it is my computer have ip address from the same range now let's jump to the third stage and access the evng in my computer browser let's open the browser and type the evng ip address right here click continue to site boom you can see that i have accessed my evng login page here we have default username admin with default password eve and now let's jump to the last stage and here EVNG can provide us some menus that can provide us some information in user management and for creating a new lab click on this icon and right here enter a name for your lab and click on save. Right here in the left side in this pan we can get logout or we can also close the lab in here we click the lab and click on open also in this pan it can provide us more detail lab details status or zoom or also refreshing the topology so to add a network devices click on add an object and click node here is a long list of devices consisting Cisco routers, switches, many types of firewalls like Sophos, FortiGates, Palo Alto and many more devices and now they are in the gray color. It's because we didn't add their operating system in the EVNG virtual machine. And by next video, I will show you how to add different network devices operating system right here. For the first time, we can only add a virtual PC right here. As you can see here, a virtual PC, select this. Right here, we specify to add two virtual PC and click on save. You can see that I have successfully added two virtual PC and through this connection, I can connect this node to each other now let's add a network connection and connect this virtual pc with the internet directly right click in the home page and click add a network in the type section we have three types of network in the av ng the first one is bridge the second one is management cloud and the third one is cloud one two three four until nine the first one is acting the same as host only in VMware and the second one is acting as a bridge in VMware. It means that they can connect directly with the network and the remaining one is depending on adding network adapter in the VMware. It means if we add one network adapter to second, third and fourth 
So this cloud one, two, three, four will be activated in the AVNG network system. So for the time being, I'm selecting management cloud and click on save. And to connect this virtual PC, drag this connection and connect it with the cloud management section. Now it's time to turn on the virtual PC, right click on it and click on start. For accessing the virtual PC console port, just double click on the virtual PC. Here you can see the link, open internet shortcut shell extension DLL. Click on this to access the virtual PC console, but for the time being, we will not be able to access because we didn't install the EVNG Windows client extension. So let's first install the Windows client extension. In this installation process, there is no technical issue that I can specify. Just a simple check agree option and click on next to finish all the installation process. Here it's asking that a Wireshark is already installed. Would you like to uninstall it first? Just select no and click to continue. The installation process has been completed. Now just open your browser and refresh the page and double click on virtual PC and click this link. Boom! Here you can see that I have successfully accessed the virtual PC console port. To check this PC is receiving IP address from our local wireless router or not, type show. Here you can see it doesn't receive the IP address. And to configure this virtual PC to receive the IP address from our wireless router, type IP space DHCP. Boom. Here you can see that this virtual PC is receiving IP address from our local network. Let's check this virtual PC is accessing the internet or not. Just ping 8.8.8.8 or Google IP address. Boom! Here you can see that this virtual PC can access the internet. And let's have the same configuration with the second PC. In this PC, let's ping our AVNG IP address. Boom! Here you can see that this virtual PC can access our AVNG server. And to stop these devices, just right click on it and click on stop. Also, sometimes it's required that we have to update our AVNG server with the latest application and functionality. So just open the AVNG and enter the root username and password and type sudo apt update. It will take a while to update the AVNG server. This lab has been successfully completed and in the next video, I will show you how to add Cisco routers and switch IOSs to practice your CCNA and CCNP advanced labs. What network simulator you are using for practicing your labs? Please write me in the comment. Thank you so much for being with me till now. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for supporting me to prepare more networking videos.